Nick speaking and welcome to this video right Nick's New Year painting challenge 2016 has started finally <laughs> um, I've had a success so I've got a good good video for you today um, okay so yes I've magnetized all the weapon options um, I've uh, primed them all as well because some of them weren't primed um, so I'm basically ready to paint at long last. <laughs> uh, I have to say I've been really really enjoying everyone's uh, videos and pictures on the Google Plus um, page. It's been really awesome to see everyone's projects starting to take shape so well done to everyone who's um, joining in. I'm going to have a closer look at my wall walkers and the magnetization that I've done uh, so let me just uh, move some of these guns to one side so as you can see I've got the scatter lasers on there which is probably going to be my main uh, configuration for these guys but of course it's always fantastic to have the different weapon options uh, for choice and also for future codexes where you know things can change quite rapidly with Games Workshop um, things like you know when they gave the scatter lasers laser lock in the last edition you know really really changed things up so who knows what will happen to a bright lance or something in the future so that is why I've magnetized everything up all the weapon options it's probably going to take me longer to paint the weapons and the actual war walkers but you know it will be worth it in the end so um, yeah let's have a closer look at one of these guys so what I've done is, um, I let me just get a bit closer, there we go, right, so I have successfully done exactly what I said I would do, um, so I basically went into the back pin and I took that out, drilled out a little hole um, and put a 2 by one millimeter magnet in there. Um, I've since glued these little pieces in because these were loose so I've glued those in and again drilled out a hole at the back so now I have a magnet and a pin option and the nice thing is that it obviously magnetizes and the, the pin just locates it together quite nicely um, and it just works really really well. Now the Aldara players among you, um, amongst you will recognize that I haven't put on the other piece on the end of this. There's supposed to be like a little shield which comes out up over the gun. Now personally I really really don't like it. Um, I think it looks awful. <laughs> it's just me, just my personal preference, but I just don't think it really sits well with the model. Um, so I've just left mine off um, and I'm, I'm happy with them. So that's that's what I've done with mine. What I will do is just put another gun in here. So that's the scatter laser. Let's put a bright glance in. So there you go. As you can see, it just goes in really, really easy. So it works really, really well. Um, I have uh, left these off. I haven't pin, uh, magnetized. Uh, sorry, I haven't glued these yet. Purely for painting, it's going to be a lot easier to paint them. I probably will glue them in after I've painted them, um, but I'll have to have a look. See how I store them in my case. If I find that I need to not glue them to to store them in my case, then I could just leave them off. Plus, it, it's quite useful. For example, if it gets wrecked, for example. I can just take that piece off and just have it there and it would look like a wrecked walker on the table. So maybe I won't glue them, maybe I will just leave them just pinned. Um, you know, it doesn't really make too much difference. So, um, that's it. I'm ready for painting. Can't wait at long last. Um, really, really going to enjoy these. I'm really pumped now for painting them. So um, I'm going to get cracking and the next video will actually have some painting on these guys. <laughs> okay, that's it from me. Thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.